Well, it's about that time of year that I showed you how to make something follow you in Rec Room again. Plus, Rec Room has added some new chips that make it even easier and better. So let's go get started. All right, so as always, we need to make ourselves a monster. We're gonna use our handy dandy Barry. Hey, Barry, what up, bro? All right, fine. Rude. Go ahead and configure yourself a Barry. Give him a tag. Call him Barry this time. Add that tag. Then you want to scroll down. Make sure you can modify with circuits. Now on the circuit, start off with a rec room object. Get first with tag. Gonna put in that same tag here that we gave Barry, which for us is Barry. And now we want to get ourselves a event receiver set to 30 hertz. So now for a bit of networking. Now in the past, we kind of always got like room authority, but we're going to get the actual person who is the authority of the object, which is Barry. This is going to end up being the person whose system we are running the circuits through. That way it's not running through everybody's system and it's not confusing rec room on where it needs to go. Now, in order to make Mr. Barry over here move, we need a set transform. Our target, what we want to move is going to be Barry. Now the new chips that they've added are going to be for position, but rotation is gonna be the same. Let's go ahead and get it to follow the closest player. The origin is going to be Barry's position, so we need to get position. Now for the targets, I'm gonna use get all players, but if you wanted to have it only chase players with a specific role, you can use get all players with role. So in previous versions, what I would do is subtract the position of the closest player from the position of Barry and then use that difference, slice it into tiny little bits, and then add that little tiny bit to the position of Barry, and then use that for his new position. But with this new chip that they've added, we can get rid of these three chips, essentially. Now in previous versions, I would get the position of the closest player, but they've since added a chip called player body position, and we're gonna use that instead because it's more accurate. Get position goes towards your feet, and we don't want that. We want it to actually go toward like your chest. You could also do player head position. Either one of these could work. Just depends. Do you want them going for your body or do you want them going for your head? Then we're going to subtract the body position to the player from the position of Barry. That's gonna give us a vector that's pointing toward us. So that will be the rotation. Now the new chip that we're using is the vector move toward. It is a beta chip as of recording, so we do have to put this room into beta. If you don't know how to do that, here's a real quick fast forward. So let's put that there. Our current is gonna be the current position of the monster, which would be over here. Our target is going to be the position of our body or our, our player, so that. Our max delta, we'll use the delta time up here on the 30 hertz, and then the result goes into position now he just started chasing me automatically hi barry oh now you want to say hi you didn't want to say anything before i know some of you only want him to stay on one level like right now he'll follow me up if you want him to stay on one level we're gonna have to split the vector that comes out and then re put it together you'll see what i mean attach the x and attach the z now the y we need to make that number match where we are actually standing so if we go over to body position that's 0 0.807, we'll just use 0 0.8. So now that it's there, there we go. Oh, he's a little low. What's my current position right now? 1.5, okay, we'll change this number 1.5. There we go, that's a little bit better. I suppose, hey, somebody subscribed. I suppose you could also, instead of using that delta time, if you wanted to speed him up a little bit, I think you could just multiply the delta and let's multiply it by two. That should make it two times as fast. Yeah, he's definitely faster. Make sure to support me on Rec Room or use code RCL1. I know that we've got progression now in Rec Room. We've got uh, pathfinding that's coming. We have Holotars V2. We have all sorts of cool stuff to look forward to. RCL man out.